already hospital facilities have begun to crack under the strain and civil defense authorities state that the situation is much the same across the entire country martial law is now nationwide major cities in all parts of the country new york los angeles report plague victims falling dead in the streets in their homes at their work the first symptom appears to be severe choking followed by immediate unconsciousness death occurs within minutes whether a state of war between china and russia still exists is not important any longer our fellow countrymen are dying the very foundations of civilization are beginning to crumble under the dread assault of that horror long feared germ warfare carlo rat channel this is a class one emergency all civilian traffic is barred from streets and highways stay in your homes stay in your homes those found without specific military orders are subject to summary ex <laughs> What's going on, my horror friends? This is Tommy Naka, the horror guy, coming at you. And today, I'm doing a film swap review where my friend Merrick over at Narwhal Entertainment, check out his channel. He puts out great stuff. Once a month, we uh, switch movies to review. He usually gives me a movie that he's already reviewed on his channel. I uh, kind of flip it around. I, it's a movie sometimes I've seen before that I'll give him, or I've never seen it before, or, or it's a movie I know is shit, and I want him to watch it. Yeah. I will give him that movie. But this month, he has given me... I have never seen this movie. I'm familiar with it. I know what it is, kind of. The 1971 cult classic, The Omega Man, starring Charlton Heston. I can't do Charlton Heston. But, um, yeah, The Omega Man. I know it somewhat. Uh, I've seen the episode of The Simpsons. <laughs> uh, I know I'm familiar with the books, kind of. I know they exist. I know that The Last Man on Earth with Vincent Price was the first one. Then the I Am Legend. It's based on I Am Legend book. It, and then there's this one. And then we got the uh, the god-awful uh, remake or whatever it is of with Will Smith. I Am Legend. Wasn't a fan of that. I... I didn't see the other movies. I just saw for what it was. Really shitty CGI and a boring plot. It was just boring as shit. So I wanted to watch The Omega Man. This uh, this has been on my list for a while, but my friend Merrick said, you got to watch Omega Man. I'm like, cool. Because I hear a lot about just the 70s soundtrack. This is very 70s, guys. I'm not going to lie. This is 71, but it takes place in the future. The future of 1977, the year I was born. Perfect. So how I do my reviews is I just give a grade out of 10 out of 5 categories, and I do the average at the end, and I give it a grade. I don't go over way too much because I don't like to spoil everything in case there is somebody that's never seen this before. That's how I do my reviews. So plot, the characters, the kills, the effects, and the overall setting. So here we go. Omega Man. The plot. Uh, I'll give it a 7.5. You know, we, we get the, uh, that, that very introduction, that very famous introduction that a lot of people have copied over the years, you know, of him just walking through like LA alone. He's the last man on earth. He's not really, but you know what I mean? We've gotten that with 20 days later, you know, that kind of beginning, uh, Rick in the walking dead, you know, shit like that. It's, but this one kind of is the original. Um, so there's a bi biological warfare going on between Russia and China. And then, the, the, you know, people start turning into these albino type vampires at night and they can only really come out at night and they are pissed. They don't want anything to do with science and technology and the future and the way that the life, the way that life was, you know, so. And he's a scientist and he's, you know, he injected himself with a cure and he's the only one that's like, he's immune to it. So then he ends up meeting other people along the way. He's not the last man on earth, but uh, he is probably the last hope on earth. I, I like the plot, but uh, 7.5, 7.5 on the plot. Uh, the characters, <laughs> I'll give the seven, I'll give it a seven. I'm going to give it a seven. Um, the thing about Neville and... You can't blame him. He's, you know, after a couple of years or so, even, not even two years, if you're by yourself all the time, you you go insane. You do. You know what I mean? Stop ringing. Sorry, guys. Yeah, eventually you go insane. But at the same time, just give me a couple days of that. Give me a couple days. I would love it. Quiet. Nobody around. He's just talking to mannequins. You know? Do you think... Do you think 
the mannequins and him? Do you think once in a while you think you would have to maybe just kind of explore a little bit? You know, no harm done. Yeah, some of those mannequins look good, and they don't talk back. Perfect. Um, I like Neville. Uh, he he meets Lisa, his love interest, and they have. <laughs> Not that this matters, but zero chemistry. Zero chemistry. Who cares? They're the last man and woman on Earth. They're, screw it. Who cares about chemistry at this point? Dutch is another guy that was kind of an interesting character. And then you have the uh, the albino vampires, the family. Mathis, great actor. I can't think of his name offhand. I just forgot his name. He's always a bad guy. He's always he's always the bad guy in movies. He's always a prick. Um, my MVP though, and he, I got him. We got him in small doses but i wanted more of him i and that's zachary i thought zachary he could have been the leader he was more scary than mathis was i found uh, zachary more intimidating just the way he talked the way he looked mathis was kind of a clown to me uh you're not scary he was he, he very silly and hammy and kind of like roll your eyes on him I, I thought zachary was way better and uh yeah zachary's my mvp and we get the kids, you know, we get Lisa's son and blah, blah, blah. And that, so there's, there's characters on the way. There's some good, solid characters. Um, my favorite part in the whole movie, though, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This is my only complaint, really, is the family. They're not that scary. Like, when I, when I saw them, how they looked, and I know the plot of I Am Legend, so I'm like, okay, this, this is probably got to be a little more scary. Both movies are really not. Uh, better than the CGI vampires. Ten times way better. But they're still not really a threat. Not really. I mean, Neville is talking to a mannequin at this scene right here. And he's just like... And they're th they're throwing catapults of fire at his apartment. And he's just like, excuse me for a minute. He's like bored with it. And he just fills out the fire. And they's, They're not that threatening. I thought if they were just up the threat level a little bit. And they're just... Just a little bit more. Now, them killing Lisa's son, though, when Lisa's son was trying to convince them to go back, you know, get the cure, and let's move on with this, and we can all continue together, and this is the way life should be. They're not having it, and so they end up killing him. But still, um, they could have been a little more threatening. Seven. Uh, the kills, it's not that kind of movie, so I always got to throw kills in there for my reviews, but there are some kills in this. Uh, Neville's kill was very, yeah, uh, shocking very biblical the way he dies you know but just kind of a corny way to go out i give it a six on the kills guys i wasn't i don't care that he died but mm, that way it was kind of i don't know kind of corny mathis just throws the spear at him he gets it and he just stands there the whole night and then finally he dies but he dies a hero you know he gives them the cure and, they, and then the rest of the group takes off they end up saving lisa as we figured we don't know that's another thing, my only complaint, that another complaint, guys, is a lot of things on left. Um, Lisa, did the cure work? We don't know. They just took off with it. Yeah, Lisa turns into one of the family members. And I'm, I'm kind of confused about Mathis's powers. Like, I think it, I thought it takes a while for them to convince them to join the family, but it seems like she just, like, right away, she was all about it. But, um, yeah, so let's move on to, they have the kills, Neville's kill. It was a six. The overall kills. The kid death was was a little shocking. Uh, the blood was very not the greatest blood. That's more for effects though. And effects, well, it kind of goes in together, guys. Kills and effects. I'm gonna give them both a six. Again, they're better than the CGI vampires, and the eyes are creepy, but they could have been a little bit better. Just mm, up it up a little bit. Up up the effects just a little bit more. It was, it was a cheap budget, low budget, but um, I don't know. I wanted more. I wanted more. It's 1971 still. I got to remember that. But if this is a, the future of 1970s. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna give the the kills and the effects both a six. And the setting, Los Angeles. You know, he's walking around by himself. We get like a even Dodger Stadium where they take him hostage in Dodger Stadium, and he beats everybody's ass. They're a bunch of clumsy oafs. Like the I don't know. If he just had one guy that was a complete badass, that would have been cool. Like, Zachary could have been more of a badass. Then that would have upped it up for me a little bit more. But Charlton Heston, we saw his nipples all through the movie. It's typical Charlton Heston stuff. He was a great He was a great action guy back then, you know. Um, 
his acting to me is just uh, I mean I know he's a legendary actor but I've seen better I don't know uh the settings an eight for me and I've noticed there was a couple of scenes you can't it's Los Angeles you can only block so much of Los Angeles off for a movie but there is a couple of scenes if you pay attention you can see moving cars you can see some cars in traffic but who cares yeah it just um I'm going to give this a 70, guys. So the overall grade for this, it's, it passes. Absolutely, it's 70. I just think it could have been done a little better. It, you know, I'm, I, a lot of people think this is a perfect movie. It shouldn't be touched, but I don't. I don't at all. It could have been better. Um, but they got it wrong with I Am Legend. They got it wrong. Way wrong. Not even close. I don't care about a sequel. I've heard this, about a sequel of Will Smith and Michael B. Jordan. I don't give a frick. You can put Charlton Heston's corpse in it. You could bring him back somehow with, with the CGI and you I don't care. It's it's don't. This could have been this could have been better. Um but it was still entertaining. I, I I Merrick, thank you for recommending this. It passes. I give it a 70, guys. What do you think of the Omega Man? And one thing before I leave off, again, Math they left too many things unlaughed. Like Mathis throws a spear at our hero, Neville. And he bounces. We don't know if he dies in the fire. We don't know. He lives. Li Zachary dies. But Mathis, we don't know his fate. We don't know Lisa's fate. We don't know everybody else. So I don't know why. They, they didn't do a sequel to this. I don't understand why. This could be. This could have been continued back then. But it didn't. So there you have it, guys. That is my grade and my review of the Omega Man 1971. So please comment. What do you think of the Omega Man? Please like and subscribe, smash that notification bell, and I'll see you again soon. Have a great Memorial Day tomorrow, guys. Take it easy.